What is up? Guys, my mom got me this Pelican Brewing The Brood Abides. And yo, I know that there are possibly some not stoners out there who don't know. So stoner bros, go like make yourself a snack. Uh, make yourself a snack to eat while you wait for the snack to get made. Um, and so um, this is a reference to the movie The Big Lebowski. Uh, in which the, the guy Lebowski, the main guy, played by Jeff Bridges, goes by the dude, and the dude abides. I'm not 100% sure what that means, but it's got to have some deep philosophical meaning at this stoner movie. A classic, um, it's uh, about this guy named Lebowski, who uh, his place gets ransacked, and the shit beat out of him, and they take his carpet, they piss on his carpet, uh, and it's because they think that he's the mafia boss, the big Lebowski. Uh, they looked up Lebowski's address and fucked this shit up. And so he goes to find the big Lebowski just to ask him to get his rug paid back for. Uh, that's all he wants. He just wants to go back to normal, go out bowling with his friends. It's pretty good. Steve Buscemi's in it. Um, Seth Rogen, not Seth Rogen, John Goodman. He's amazing. He plays this psycho cop. Um, it's pretty good. So um, I'm going to set the phone down now, and I'm going to open this bad boy up. I'm going to tell you what I think. Oh, um, also, in reference to the movie, it is White Russian-inspired milk stout. I don't know if you can read that. It looks backwards to me, but maybe it'll reflip the image when I upload it to YouTube. I don't know how that shit works. Um, so I'm going to open this now. Can opener. I'm so glad they bumped up the cash refund to 10 cents here in Oregon. Wow, dude, that's really good. It's really good. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I saw this trailer for... Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 coming to PlayStation 4. And I thought, what a waste of potential. You know, I mean, after the disaster that was Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5, and I never played it, um, but I I heard the horror stories, which is why I didn't play it. Um, I love the idea of them remaking the Tony Hawk series with better controls, better graphics, um maybe rework the voice acting, maybe not, maybe leave the voice acting untouched, I kind of like the voice actors they had, um, get the licensing for the songs, maybe get some new bands included too, uh, I can think of several Streetlight Manifesto songs that I would love to hear in a Tony Hawk game, uh, just off the top of my head, um, that's the first band that I think of, but the thing that bothers me about it is not that they are only remaking the first two games. It's the fact that they're only remaking the first two games after the first two games were already remade as Tony Hawk's Pro Skater X. Um, why? You could fit like seven more Tony Hawk games on a fucking PlayStation 4 disc. Like the series was, what, seven games in on the PS2 when the fucking... American Wasteland came out. That shit came out on the GameCube, dude. I love the GameCube. Um, it, it's just... Mind-boggling to me. That with all of the modern technology that we have available to us today, here in 2020, they decided that they were only going to remake the first two Tony Hawk games. I don't know. Maybe it's to test the waters. Maybe they just want to find out if there's interest in this shit before they delve into making the whole damn game. I guarantee fucking to you, I guarantee fucking to you that there's a market for this. Like, there are people who are fucking nostalgic for Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. I'm one of them. I grew up in the 90s. I know that there are people my age who want this shit. I know that fucking skateboarding's still around, man. Like, it's not gonna die. It's just a cultural phenomenon. A stoner staple. And I just, 
I dream of the day that they remake, like, a complete Tony Hawk game. Just fucking go full ham, get the licenses for all the hidden characters and shit. Um, it, it's, I, I know that it would be a lot of money, but I guarantee you, you would make it back in spades. Like, people, people would eat that shit up, man. And you're remaking the first two games, which have already been remade. I don't know. Maybe they do some crazy new shit. Maybe they add, like, a plot or some shit. Or they, they add, like, new skatable areas in every level that you unlock by getting all the stuff. I don't fucking know. Maybe they'll make it worth our while. But I doubt it. I doubt it because we are talking about Activision. They, I, I love the Crash Bandicoot remake. I do. There's only one original level and a remade level. And the, the original level is great. It's awesome. It feels like a Crash Bandicoot level. They could have done so much more with it. And the Spyro remake, honestly, to me, it feels like Spyro trilogy just with better graphics, especially the fucking hoverboard shit in the beach level and the, the fucking end of end level fucking controls. No, that shit needs better controls. And it's glitchy as fuck, dude. I broke a controller before I 100% of that shit. It's just not good. And I really hated the redesign for Spyro for Skylanders. It just pissed me off. Um, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5, like I mentioned, was a zero effort attempt at cashing in on an IP that they were about to lose the rights to use. I, I guess Tony Hawk's not really an intellectual property. He's a person. Um, I guess likeness is a better term for that. I don't know. It's just... There are so many games that I would love to see remade, and the Tony Hawk series is not absent from that list, but we, as gamers, have come to expect more. Maybe you feel that we're entitled, blah de blah um, When companies care and they want to give you a full package, they go all out, man. Fucking... Even while Metroid Prime 3 was still on the same system, Nintendo put out the Metroid Prime Trilogy disc, which had all three of the Prime games on it. That's how much they cared. If I was going to see a remake of just two games, I would think it would be fucking Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. You know? I, I don't know. Tell me what your thoughts are on it. I just... I'm going to sit here and enjoy this beer. As for the beer itself, 10 out of 10. I don't really like beer that much, but honestly, it's not bad. It reminds me of when I bought the Crystal, Crystal Head Vodka, Dan Aykroyd's Crystal Head Vodka. I'm not really a vodka dude, but that shit tasted clean, straight up. It, it was like, it had the sweetness to it. It, it was very low alcohol burn. Uh, there was alcohol burn, obviously, but it, it was tolerable. It, it's good shit, man. Uh, I'm the philosopher. I'm stone. Take care.